This morning, we are debuting Sunday Conversations, a weekly sit down with some of Houston's most fascinating people. Our first talk is with Stanton Welch, the Houston Ballet's artistic director and leader. The acclaimed Australian choreographer is going on his 16th year in Houston, but as our own Conflenti found out, some of his greatest challenges have come in the most recent years with a hurricane named Harvey and a production called Sylvia. And action. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a pretty cool time of year. Uh, Sylvia is coming out soon. Yes, next Thursday. How did you know Sylvia was the one, the next one you wanted to do? Um, Sylvia is a really famous piece of music, and it, it's one of those things that is a, a dance that you grow up hearing, but you never really see it very much. The music was very much a part of the inspiration to make the ballet. I felt like it was something that Houston audiences and our dancers want to and see and hear and it should be a part of our repertoire this is an interesting ballet for a number of reasons we're going to have three lead ballerinas sure as yes. opposed to one which is more typical i guess it's three love stories that are entwined they all uh, start off in separate places and, and explode together in act two and then you you watch them conclude in act three you compare the well the leads three of them to sort of superheroes is it all of them or one in particular <laughs> um actually i think they're all kind of superheroes artemis who is the the go is a god she, is, she really is a superhero she uh is immortal she uh is the greatest huntress of all time then in her army of women warriors is sylvia so she's also a warrior uh, a great huntsman a great uh swordsman um and then Psyche, who though she doesn't fight with weapons, uh, she's the one that's cunning and smart and finds her way through all the puzzles the fastest. They each have a superpower. That's very unusual for ballet. You know, the ballerina is normally the, the princess in pink. But here they're, they're sword-wielding superheroes, yeah. And you've created more than 20 works for Houston Ballet, uh, others for the Australia Ballet Company. Um, do you have a favorite? Well, they're like my children, so I love them all. Um, I think that the one that I'm focused on at the moment always feels like the most passionate one because I, I am absorbed by that. Is there a life cycle for a ballet where, where it, it, it's popular and it goes away and comes back years later? Yeah, definitely. And I think there are fads for ballets, you know, like something can be crazy popular for... Uh, and also cities and countries and states have something that might really work in their region. Houston's always been a really adventurous artistic city from the ballet and opera and the alley. Lots of creation here, so the audiences feel like they're, they're on the adventure with you. Is that one of the reasons you like it here? I love that here, yeah. I mean, it feels like we're making the future. We're part of what will be the legacy of, of Texas or America. Harvey, Hurricane Harvey, um, that really, I mean, obviously for countless people we know the greater story but for you guys specifically at the ballet what was the comeback story like it was a rough time uh, we lost our Wortham theater and we had this building had flooding on the ground floor and the basement of course uh, so we were homeless uh, theaterless for a year and a half and we had the option of you know we could have canceled the season or we tried to pick up and, and, and go on a local tour, and that's what we thought was important. It was important that the city felt art had not left. Sylvia will be the first time, other than Nutcracker, we're back in the Wortham. I mean, one more week, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing. Are there last minute things that, like, loose ends to tie up? Hundreds, hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds of loose ends to tie up. The Houston Ballet presents Sylvia starting this Thursday, running through March 3rd. That's right, and we've got much more to say in our Sunday conversations on our website. Read the five things to know about Stanton Welch, including his favorite Houston dish and the famous music icon he once met. It's all at clicktohouston.com slash Sunday. Check it out.